Turks math lesson with we numbers. play with numbers. Yay. If today is your first time of following my lesson, please don't forget to tap on the notification button to notify you anytime I load a new lesson. Today we are going to look at lattice division method. Lattice division method. I am Felix Texin, your humble math teacher. If you are ready to learn this method with me, then let's go. Lactic division method. Lactic simply means a bus with a diagonal line. So let me walk you through the structure of the lactic division method. So you see, this is a bus with a diagonal line. All right. So the diagonal line divide the bus into two parts. And it is having the upper part, which is the shaded area, and the unshaded area is the lower part. So I've labeled it A, B, C, D, and E. Now, division has parts, and these parts are dividend, divisor, quotient, and remainder. So when you look at the structure here, I have a b so the a b is the dividend then the c is the divisor d you see that we have the d d so the d's here are the quotients then the e here are the remainders all right so the e gives us what remainders so with the lattice division method wherever you have a remainder the remainder is 10 to the tens, right? So, if you have A and B, if you are given, for example, if you are given 25 divided by 5, you see that the 25, we have 2 digits there. So, you break it down to 2 and 5. So, you write your 2 here, then you put your 5 here. Then you have your divisor at the left side of the boss. Right, so A, B, divided by c is equal to dd and how do you get your d you get your d from the upper part of the boss so the upper part of the boss is our quotient so after dividing everything the upper part you bring out the upper part from top to down that is why i have the red arrow here telling you that you are starting from top to down you know that division will start from left to right all right so let's look at the examples that we have here example one 72 divided by two so the first thing you're supposed to do is what to draw your lactics so i'll draw my lactics here then the second method is to label the lactics so i'm going to label it how many degrees do i have here i have two degrees that's why i have two lactics here so the first one will take seven then the second one will take two because we have two here then our divisor is two so now we are going to start to divide how many two parts do we have in seven or seven divided by two is three now two times three will give us six we will not get seven so we have to add one to six before we can get seven so one becomes our remainder. So I'll put down the one. So the one here is now tens. So 10 plus two will give us 12. So now how many two parts can we get from 12? That is six. Remainder zero. Because 2 times 6 is equal to 12. We don't have anything remain. So it's equal to a 0. So how do I get my quotient from the upper part of the lattice? So the upper part here is 3. So I put down my 3. Then I come to the second one. What, do you, what value do you have at the upper part? 6. You put down your 6. So therefore... 72 divided by 2 is equal to 36. Now let's look at example 2. 
the example 2 says that 230 divided by 5. The first thing you're supposed to do is to draw your lattice. After drawing the lattice, then you label it. So I finish drawing, I'm going to label it. 2, 3, 0, 5. How many 5 parts can we get from 2? It is what? 0. Because it was not able to divide, I'm going to drop the 2. So the 2 becomes our remainder. So we said that every remainder is what? 10. So 2 tens. So this one becomes 20 plus 3 becomes what? 23. So how many 5 parts can we get from 23? 4. Because 5 times 4 is equal to 20. And it's not up to 23. So we are left with what? 3. So the 3 there becomes our remainder. Which is 3 tenths. So it becomes 30. So how many 5 parts can we get in 30? That is 6. Remainder 0. So we need to get our quotient now. If you arrive at 0, you don't have anything to divide again, then you now start to bring out your quotient from the upper part. Right? So the first one here is 0. I'll not write it. When it is begin with 0, don't write it. The second one is 4. So the second boss, we can get the upper value to be 4. So I have 4. Then we come to the third lattice, the upper value is 6. So therefore, 230 divided by 5 is equal to what? For example, 3. So 10,672 divided by 8. The first thing you are supposed to do is to draw your lattice. From there, you label it. So let's label our lattice. 1. 6, 7, and 2, divided by 8. Our divisor here is what? 8. So you are done with what? The labeling. So now let's divide. So how many 8 parts do you have in 1? It's 0. Remain the 1. So I put down my 1. Divide to 16. So in simple term, 16 divided by 8 will give us 2. Remainder 0. Now we don't have anything here, so this one maintains what? 7 ones. So how many 8 parts do you have in 7? No. So it's still 7. So you are going to have 0. Remainder 7. So we have 7 tenths now, which gives us what? 72. Now, 8 divided by 72, that is 9. 9. Remainder, 0. Very good. So now we are going to pull out the quotient. We write the 0 when it is beginning. So I'll start from the next value or the next last list, which is 2. Okay, the upper value here is 2. Then, the second lattice here is 0. The third lattice here, its upper value is 9. So, our final answer here is what? 209. So, you take your answer from top to down. Right? So, now let's look at the fourth example. 37,845 divided by 9. The first thing you're supposed to do is to draw your lattice. So you have done that. Now the second one is what? To label it. So let's label. So from top to down. 3, 7, 8, 4, 
M5. So we need to get 5 lactics because the digits that we have here are 5. Now divided by 9, so divide are 9. So the next step is to divide. So 3 divided by 9, 0. We are going to write 0. Remainder 3. Right. Now, how many 9 parts do we have in 37? 4. 37 divided by 9 is equal to 4. 9 times 4 is 36. So remainder 1. So this will give us 18. How many 9 parts do we have in 18? 2. Remainder 0. How many 9 parts do we have in 4? 0. Because 4 divided by 9 is 0. Remainder 4. So this one gives us 45. So 45 divided by 9 is 5. Remainder 0. Good. So now we need to get our quotient this is from the upper lactics. So the first one here is 0. So I'm not writing. The second lactic here, its upper value is 4. Second, 2. 0. 5. 1, 2, 3. So, 37,845 divided by 9 is equal to 4,205. Example, 5. 168 divided by 12. Right? The first one, you have done it. The second one, you label 1, 6, 8. So I'm stepping down. Divided by 12. So I have my 12 here. That is the divisor. So now you go. 1 divided by 12 is 0. Right? You drop the 1. You count the remainder. Okay. Now, so this one now comes to 16. So how many 12 parts can we get in 16? 1. Remain that 4, right? So which will give us 48. 8 divided by 12 is 4, right? So we have 4. Remain that 0. So we take our answers now from the upper values or from the upper lactics. Okay, so from the first lactics, our value here is 0. So I will not write it. So we go to the second lattice. Our upper value here is 1. Then the next one, 4. So 168 divided by 12 is equal to 14. This is about what? Lactic division method. Very simple to use. So let's look at the triads I have here. So you give this one to your learners to try or you give it to your world to try please let's try to make math simple by using different methods to teach this brings us to the end of our lesson text math lesson we play with numbers yeah see you again in my next lesson